Now, what the Billy Blue blazes do you think that red-headed nephew of mine's up to this time? Well, hop to the hog water we've got you. Let's go find out. Oh, Red, that's awful. Bill's over at my uncle's barber shop. Then, Carol, we better go over to the barber shop and tell the marshal. What's the matter, Red? What's happened? Another raid. Josh Culver's place. Took what little stock he had and burned everything. That's the tenth raid we've had in the basin this month. Say, little beaver, will you run over to the barber shop and get the marshal? You betcha. What in tarnation fetched you into town like you was hanging on the tail of one of them comics? Josh Culver's place has been raided. Josh Culver? What'd they expect to get from him? Poor old fellow didn't have much to begin with. Ain't that a shame? I remember when we had a plague of mysterious raids like this when I was top deputy for Wild Bill Hickok. One day I says to Bill, I said, Bill... Hey, hold Bill. it, old-timer. Let's let another Bill take care of this. Bill Flaher, town marshal. Beaver says Culver's place is burned out. Do you know who did it? No, I don't, Bill. Josh said they were all masked. I saw the smoke and road over, but it was too late. He's burned flat and his few head of stock going. Who do you imagine would want them few scrawny cows of Josh's? I wish I knew. The whole thing beats me. Well, what do you mean, Red? I mean these two silver conches I found right alongside Culver's barn, or what used to be his barn. So, well, Dad, blame it to Dixie. So he's the one that done it, huh? El Canelo. Well, those silver consoles are El Canelo's trademark, all right. The same kind that have been found at the scene of the last nine raids. But somehow it doesn't ring true. Doesn't ring true? Mind you, I don't know El Canelo. I've never even seen him. But from all I've heard, what stealing he's done has been to help the poor, getting back what somebody had originally stolen from them. Bill, El Canelo's a Spanish Californian, isn't he? Uh-huh. Have you ever known him to operate except in Texas? No, I guess not. That is, not before we started finding these conchas around here the past few weeks. Sure. We found the conchas, but they could be planted by somebody else. Red Rider, who else could lay them conchas? Son, that's our job to find out. <laughs> I'm just a barber here. I don't mean to be buttoned in, but I think that's Bill's job. After all, he runs the marshal's office. Well, thanks, Happy. Red. I think I'll just ride out to cover his place myself. Say... Duchess, just as long as Bill is riding out toward Painted Valley to see Josh, why not let him escort you home with these packages? Well, I'm not through the shopping yet. Well, you just give me your list and buckskin and little beaver, and I'll finish it for you. Cigars in here. You bet, Mr. Hammond. Well, where you been all afternoon, Wolf? Working. Cigar? I think I'd rather have a drink right now. And none of that barrel stuff. Bourbon. Kentucky bourbon. Now, the place was raided, so they tell me. Yeah. Josh Culver. The time someone caught that El Canelo. Be kind of tough, wouldn't it, seeing that he's down in Texas? Texas? What would you do, throw them conchos up here? Maybe he shoots them up with a shotgun. That El Canelo's plenty smart. He has given me more and more smart people in this place. Every week. It's too bad the marshal's not smart, huh? Oh, now, Wolf, I wouldn't say that. You know he's doing all he can. It's just that this El Canelo's just a little slicker than Bill. Well, yours to a man was real brave. to find a brave man. You put that gun away and I'll show you how brave I am. What do you want of me? You will know who I am, Henry. Never mind, I tell you. I am El Conejo. You know why I come here? I tell you that, too. I come here to kill you. 
You're loco. No, senor. You are the one who is loco, like wild coyote, who think he can... What you call it? Sling mud over the good name of El Conejo. Me? I never saw you before. Then take one good look, senor. Because you no see El Conejo ever again or anything else. Now, wait a minute. The sheep stealing hombre who think he can make robberies and wrestling and blame him on El Conejo. Amigo, he is good like dead. Who says I pull robberies and then blame him on you? Me. El Conejo. He says so. And El Conejo no cause he make it his business to find out. I am going to kill you. Drop those guns. You're not going to kill anybody. Thanks, Ryder. If it hadn't have been for you, that cold-blooded vulture would have plugged me. Nothing personal, Hanlon, believe me. It's just that I don't like murders, not even yours. What are we going to do with this pasty face crook here, Red? Please, and you are careful how you make talk about my face. Why, you pole cat, in ten minutes your face will be all blue from a rope necktie. As usual, Ace, you're dead wrong. He's the buzzer has been tearing this basin apart lately. You can prove that, of course. Prove it? The marshal's been looking high and low for him. That's right, and the marshal's going to get him, too. Buckskin and I are taking both these gents out to the Culver place to see if Josh can identify them. All right, Buckskin. You be diddly dad burn. Now, look, Ryder, you're not running this town. Neither are you, much as you'd like to be. Come on, All right, going. fellas, come on. Let's get going. Come on, hurry up, now. That was a close one. It's a good thing for you Ryder came in when he did. Ryder, Ryder, that's all I ever hear around this town. But mark my word, Wolf, that red-headed busybody is going to cross me up just once too often. Josh, I rode out as soon as Red told me about it. Are you and Dorothy all right? Yes, Bill. Dad and I are all right physically. Where we're hurt is right here. Everything Dad worked for all these years, gone up in smoke. Only yesterday we made the final... Hush call. now, Dottie. Things might be worse. We still have each other. We still have our friends. Those are things that money can't buy. You're both right, Josh. Now tell me, how and when did this happen? I wish I knew. We were on our way home from town... I had stopped in at Happy's while Dorothy was doing some last-minute shopping for the little shindig we were having tonight. To celebrate paying off the ranch. As we reached the top of Carson Hill, we saw the smoke. By the time we got here, all that was left was ashes. You didn't see who had done it. See who had done it? But don't the conscious speak for themselves? It must have been El Conejo. Why did he have to pick on us? Now, now, baby, get hold of yourself. Your grandma and grandpa had much bigger disappointments than this when they traveled halfway across the country in a covered wagon. They didn't give up, did they? I'll do my best to get the hombres that did this, Josh. Meanwhile, if there's anything I can do, have you arranged for food and shelter? Yes, thanks, Bill. We're staying with the Evans for a while. Just for a short while until I can rebuild. Rebuild? But how? How? I don't know. All I do know is that when my father arrived out here from Ohio, we started with nothing. With his own two hands, he built in six months what was destroyed here in a half hour. I have two strong hands and a group of fine neighbors. Dorothy and me, we'll manage. Josh, all I can say is best of luck. What's the matter, old timer? Why, uh, George, I believe I, I got a Charlie horse. Charlie horse? Where? Well, right here, Dad Burnett, right over one of my kidneys. Kidneys? Don't you mean kidney? Well, well I said kidneys, didn't I? Your amigo, he speaks with dialect, perhaps. Not just perhaps, for sure. Buckskin, if you got a crick in your back, just lean back over the saddle and stretch. You mean like this? It, it, 
Ow, ow. They all look like what buckskin do them red riders. Lean them back so far and never get them off horse without to take them off saddle. Oh, Canelo, I want you to know that this old codger says he used to be Wild Bill Hickok's right-hand man. <laughs> oh, Chief, he's the tomahawk, Red. This ain't no laughing matter. Just look at me, I'm all stretched out just like a heifer ready for branding. Say, little beaver, I don't want to miss the marshal if I can help it, so I'll ride on ahead with these two. You stay here and help old Charlie Horse get himself unhit. Me too, I'm Red Rider. Gentlemen, let's be riding. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Cut it out there, will you? Oh. Oh. Ow. 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 Oh. Feel all right, Buckskin? Yeah, but I I believe I cracked my other kiddly. What's the idea? Why does, senor? But you look like a man who is more simpatico. I'll be a lot more simpatico when the marshal's got you locked up. But then, Cornell, he only wished to smoke cigarettes. That's too bad. I don't have a cigarette, and besides, I haven't got that much time. Now, come on. You care for one, senor? No. Now, light it, and let's get moving. Which is grass. I was just blaming Buckskin for being so clumsy. Si, senor. The other gun, please. That match was a signal, huh? Si. You know, in Spanish, el conejo mean rabbit. He's smart. He's fast. Got to be like rabbit. He enjoys to live. Well, who doesn't? Well, it would be much better you know like to live. You know what? Never mind, I tell you. I'll be go. There's nothing for me to do but take you in the little cabin I find when I come from Texas and... But anyway, take your boys back to camp. Wait for me while I take care of these hey, reds. Senor, please. Well, tomorrow's the tortillas. What'd you find, son? Many riders come down. Some go that way, some go back off in hell. Well, uh, they be diddly dad burning. You know what I think, Beaver? I think that Canelo fella has some fellas st stays out of town, and then they grab red. What we do now? Well, I tell you what you're going to do. You're going to get on that pony, and don't you stop knocking on him until you round up the marshal and the posse. And I'm going off here in the hills, and I'm going to try to help red. That is, if I ain't too late. It better not be I'm too late. Well, you better get on that pony and start knocking on the boy. That's it now. Hurry up, Beaver. Come on, get up on me. Now get going. Come on, knock on me. Ask a boy. Senor, you understand there is nothing, uh, what you call it, nothing personal when I kill you. Oh, sure, it's something you do for anybody. Even someone who hadn't just saved you from being hung. Well, for what, Senor? Believe me, this is something that I don't like to do, but I... I must for protection. Well, it grows late, senor. I have other things to do. Maybe you got preference as to how I snuff out the breathing? It's a little hard to have a preference when I don't know what the choice is. It's a good match. I'm sorry. Well, I, I do a good job with knife. A little slow but quiet. Then I got pistol, shotgun, rifle. Maybe a little poison, if you wish. Thanks. The quicker, the better. Bravo. That is way real man talk. Now, senor. If you will move a little closer to the wall, please. Is this good enough? You 
have more courage like no man I ever seen before. Ryder, I tell you what I do. I give back to you one of your guns. One of my guns? What for? Then when I kill you, I feel I give you a sporting man's chance. Okay? Mister, that's one offer I can't afford to refuse. Of course. Well, I put the gun on the table between us. The clock on mantel. He say one minute to three. When clock, she start to strike. We both go for our guns. Then when I kill you, I am a gentleman. Doggone, Caneo, you're a real caballero. Better watch clock. Only a few seconds left. You are no better shot than to hit my gun. I thought that was pretty straight shooting. I no aim for your hand. I aim for your heart. Could be you were afraid of me. I wasn't afraid no. of you. Oh, no. I make bargain. You must take gun and shoot him. Forget it, Caneo. Let's save our shooting for those who deserve it. Those who? Who you mean, Ro? I'm not sure yet. Probably Ace Hamlin and a few of his hand-picked gunslingers. But until we can prove that it's Ace, let's say we're just looking for the varmints who've been pulling all these raids up here and blaming them on you. Caneo, I know your reputation. You've just taken from the bad ones what they originally stole from the poor folks down your way. You have heard it right. Whatever I take, I always return to the little man who needs it. But, amigo, that is something you cannot prove ever. Oh, probably not. But we may be able to prove that you've had nothing to do with the lawlessness around here. How do you do that? The first thing I want you to do is give yourself up to the marshal. Right. Uh, surely you're making joke. Surely I'm not making joke. Look, you ought to be convinced by now that I'm dropping my loop on your side of the fence. Mm -hmm. You just trusted me at your life. How about trusting me to put you in jail for a few days and keep you safe until we've had a chance to prove to everybody around here you're innocent? From now on, you are the important. engine kids up to. Come on, boys, let's ride. Maybe Ryder's having trouble with the El Canal. that time. Youngster said this sidewinder had ambushed you and taken you prisoner. He had. He? But I guess I outfoxed him, so now I'm right back where I started from, turning him over to you. What happened? I'll tell you that when we get back to town and lock him up in a cell. What happened on the buckskin? 
I was just about to ask you that, son. Me leaving back there to help him you. The last I saw him, you were trying to help him off his horse. Yeah. Well, Mr. I ain't never been in such a bad scrap in all my born days. Well, sure, there was 20 of them. Well, no, there must have been 30 of them crooks that tied into me. Well, so we had the dernest, free for all, knock down, drag him out, go around that you ever did see. Well, uh, five of them snuck up behind me, and one of them bopped me on the back of the head and got away. But I finished off about a half a dozen of them. <laughs> and you want to see what I done to that fellow Canelo? What you do to him, Buckskin? Why, I tore that smooth-talking buzzard. I didn't... <laughs> Well, thanks for the business, Pat. You're about the best customer I got. If I had my paws here, I'd be a better customer. And Ma. Yes, sir, her hair grew halfway down her back. Halfway down her back. It's a shame it didn't grow on her head. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later, Happy. Right. Pat tells me that uh, Ryder raised a ruckus out at your place. And that redhead is always buttoned in where he don't belong. And I was just about to take care of this El Caneo myself. The way Pat tells it, Red saved your life. Yeah, and then he stopped me from stringing up this farm. Mister, you ought to be doggone glad that Ryder saved your worthless neck. Now, wait a minute. Don't bark at me, Hanlon. Oh, all right, Happy. I'm sorry I didn't mean it that way. Of course, if El Caneo had have been hung, it sure would have stopped whoever's making these raids from laying the blame on him. Yeah, I guess you're right. And if Ryder turned him over to the marshal and lock him up, it would mean the same thing. You can't put the blame on him while he's in jail. Well, I have a hunch that some of El Caneo's friends will bust him out of that jail. And then maybe, if there was someone who wanted it to look like El Caneo was... Say, listen to this. Breakfast is at 6.30 in this jail, El Canejo. Hasta mañana. I want my coffee hot. Well, there no storming. Do you mean to tell me that we got to sit up all night and watch this scale and we ain't going to get everything to eat? From the looks of you, you're not going to be awake ten minutes. Well, let me tell you something, Redhead. If anybody comes in here and tries to bust El Caneo out of this here jail, I'll be in there and I'll bust him to boot hill. You better well. <laughs> <laughs> Red, do you honestly think they'll try to break El Caneo out of jail? I do. Do you, Bill? Well, like you say, Red, if someone else has been pulling these raids, they can't very well pull any more and blame him on El Caneo while he's locked up here. That's how I figure it. If they do try to break him out and we catch him at it, we not only catch the bunch we're really looking for, but we can also at the same time prove El Caneo's innocence. You betcha, Red Ryder got him great idea. Thanks, son. And if I figured this thing wrong and El Caneo's own men try to get him loose, well, this trap ought to spring on somebody. Well, it makes sense to me. Is that right, Buckskin? Huh? Well, sure, sure. Any darn fool knows that. And that's why you know it, of course. Well, you diddly dad burn right, I know it. <laughs> it well, Carol, uh, you've already worked overtime today. Best I'd be taking you home. Oh, no need to, Bill. Uncle said for me to come to the shop when I was ready to leave, and we'd go home together. Yeah, that's a better arrangement, Bill. You stay here with us just in case there should be trouble. Good night, darling. Be careful. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Good night dear. Good night. We better check the rifles, Bill. Well, wait a minute. Don't you, don't you, don't you. I give up, I give up. Okay. Red Ryder, sometimes we wonder if Bucks can really work them for a while, Bill Hickok. <laughs> well, right here, let me tell you something, young fella. Somebody's got to watch El Caneo. Little Beaver, you go and get the doctor.
Get the keys. They arrest you for this. What are you complaining about? We're getting you out of jail, ain't we? Why you do this? What you do with me? You'll find out, senor. Let's go. I don't know what happened. Whoever it was jumped me from behind. What were they after? Must have been my money. What else could it have been? Is it all in there? Yeah. Why, is it gone? Yeah, the register's been cleaned out. Slug me again. El Caleo is gone. Why, that low down sneaking pole cat. Well, it's no use saying her cousin, Bill. What we got to do is round up a posse while the trail's still fresh. Yeah, and if this keeps up, I'm going to have to trade my station for an iron derby. Senor, we have a little work for you to do. Work? Me? That ain't much. The boss made it easy for you. We'll do most of it. I do not know what it is, but it makes no difference. I know to him. I think you will. You see, we're holding four of your men. Why you do this? Just to make sure you do as you're told. Because if you don't, we're leaving their bodies out for the buzzards to get. All right. What you want me to do? I'm going to yell for Garson to come out. And when he does... All you have to do is grab him. I do not see what for. You don't have to see what for. We just want Garson to see you. What you try to do? Never mind, I tell you. You try to make out of me a crook. You're a smart hombre, Canale. Sure. Just don't try anything funny. I'll be where I can see your back for this. Keep an eye on him, boys. Hey, Garson! Garson, come on out. There's trouble. Who are you? What do you want? Then you miss the canal. Let's see you wiggle out of this one. Way they went from here, little beaver? Might be, I'm sure they'd try to be thing on their way on that way. That could be Ben Garson's place. Come on. Oh, it's you, Marshal. I was just getting ready to go into town to see if I could find you. Why, what happened, Ben? Oh, that darn El Canale and his gang was here. One of his men winged me. How'd you know it was El Canale? 
find Conscious? Oh, Conscious, nothing. I've seen him face to face. Why, he even took my gun. That's enough for me. That proves it all right. Hold your horses now, Bill. Ben, if it was El on you saw him, you ought to be able to describe him. Can you? Why, of course I can. It was a fellow about this high, had a black flat top hat, kind of a rather long nose and mustache, and had eyes like ice. Well, hinges to hobnails, Red. That ornery glue sure made suckers out of us. Well, somebody sure did, old timer. You can bet on that. Ben, you ride into town with us. You better see the doctor. Come on. These things couldn't have been better. If El Caneo doesn't hightail it for Texas now, he's crazier than I think. So what's the matter? You quitting? How are we going to celebrate? No one's going to celebrate yet. You better start making tracks for your bump. From now on, things are really going to start happening. <laughs> are up in arms over the easy time Conejo is having in and around Devil's Hole. Fred, how long can this go on? The body's not safe around this basin anymore. And all because of your brilliant red-headed nephew. Oh, Babu's the bar clerk. It's all my fault for letting Conejo's men slug me in and letting him bust out of jail. Buckskin, you're getting to be as bad as everyone else around town. I thought you agreed with me that Al Conejo was being framed. Red, how can you stand there and keep on defending that no-good maverick? Not only is he leaving them conchos around again, but Ben Garson positively identified him. <laughs> you know you're usually right, Red, but when you're wrong, boy, you're off wrong. Red, I didn't know Ben wrong. Little Beaver, I wish I could agree with you. There ain't nobody that don't make mistakes now and then. It sure looks like I'm making a big mistake in the face of everything that's happened. But somehow I don't know. What don't you know? How that dad blame smooth talking critter made you believe that he wouldn't harm a fly? <laughs> oh, no, no, senor. Me no steal from nobody. Me very honest man. <laughs> me only steal the white. Buckskin <laughs> make them plenty good Spanish bandit. Oh, Mrs. Glass is little Indiana. Oh, oh. oh, there, now, you see, that's your fault, Red Rider, for sticking up for that dad blame crook. And if you ain't a crook, why don't you go out and prove it? That's what I say. We've all been trying, haven't we? But every time we bait a trap for them, they don't even nibble at the bait. They pull a raid somewhere. What happened, Red Rider? Looks like you got an idea. Doggone if I don't think I have. Land the Goshen out with it. Not now, Duchess. I'm going to ride into town and see Ace Hanlon. What's Hanlon got to do with your idea? Maybe nothing, maybe a lot. If you two want to come to town with me, let's get rolling. He's got to blame Red Bill go with it. Come on. I think I'll buy that horse after all. That's a deal. Miss Carol? Hello. Hello, Uncle. Can I fix you up with a shave, Carol? Well, now, uh, I don't know. Got a special rate for your niece? You know, honey, you sure inherited our family sense of humor. And you're mighty pretty, too. Well, thank you, kind sir. You know, you always know exactly the right things to say to a woman. Yes, honey, you know, there was a poet fellow that once wrote, he said, uh, a woman is a rag and a bone and a hank of hair. <laughs> yeah. I always say maybe they is, but Mother Nature sure put them together. It's just so nice. <laughs> well, I certainly hope Bill thinks that about me 20 years from now. Now, honey, you know you have that young man hogtied permanent. Actually, you'd make a good lawman yourself. You got your man, just like the young Marshal always gets his. You mean the way he used to get them? 
Now, honey, you're not listening to that talk around town against Bill just because he can't catch up with El Canelo again. Oh, Uncle, he's doing everything he possibly can, but, well, every time Bill sets a trap for him in one place, El Canelo strikes someplace else. <laughs> yes, it looks as though he knows in advance just what they're up to. But how can he? Now take today. Bill and Red got High Oliver to draw $1,000 out of the bank and flash it around town, hoping that El Caneo will hear about it and come and try to get it. Say, that sounds like a pretty smart idea. Except if things go on the way they have, Bill and Red will be at the Oliver's ranch with a posse while El Caneo is 40 miles away, raiding someplace else. Now, honey, don't you worry about that young fella of yours. With Red Rider helping him, there's no owl hoot living that can outfox those two forever. I hope you're right. Well, I've got to get on to the hotel and bring Bill's lunch back. See you tonight. Goodbye. better wait out here. Take a little beaver over at the store and buy him some gumdrops. I'm going to see Ace alone. Well, you see, that's the way it goes, son. Ours is not the reason why. Ours is just to do and eat gumdrops. Look who just came in. Ryder, I wonder what he wants. He didn't come in for a drink. You can bet on that. You looking for someone, Ryder? Yeah, Hanlon. Is he in? No, he ain't. Where is he? It seems to me that's his business. What's the matter? You on the prod? Never mind about me. At least I don't go around sticking my nose into other people's affairs. Are you hinting that I do? No, I'm saying that you do. No one asked you in here and nobody wants you around here. A loudmouth like you can give a place like this a bad name. Is that so? Do you think you can throw me out? I don't have to think. I know it. We're going to throw me out, Wolf. Shall I wait? One of your punches did knock an idea in the head, though. I guess I ought to thank you. I'll go out now and follow up on it. Doggone it, Red. You be careful what you say about Carol. I'm not accusing Carol of doing anything intentionally. You've got two seconds to take that back, Red. Don't be stubborn, Bill. Why, you... Why, hey, Mr. Hooligan, Red, are you going to let him get away with that? I certainly am. Bill Flaw's the best friend I've gotten. If he feels like slapping me around a little bit, I figure that's a French privilege. I'm sorry, Red. That's all right. Look, I got an idea now how Carol can really help us, and as far as I'm concerned, that's all that counts. Come over here and sit down, and I'll tell you about it. Back to Texas, I bet you. Well, what are you going to do now, Red? Hey, I hate to try this without warning him first, but time's wasting. Come on, let's go. All right,
game. Why you rush like groundhog, Philip? Senor Ryder, I followed him from town to cabin we used when we got here. Ryder, go to other cabin. See, what do you think he want? I do not know. I don't think he want to shoot me. Must be he want to tell me something. Yes. How you find out? Felipe, now that you have rest, ride back and watch Ryder. See what happened. Maybe you find out what he want to tell me. See. Ow! That's a darn tight. What are you trying to do, choke me? <laughs> hey, there. <man. laughs> How do you look, huh? Doggone it, Red. If this no good, not headed old geezer don't look exactly like one of them gay caballeros. <laughs> ah, tamales to tortillas. <laughs> I am one of them, or whatever you call me. <laughs> ah, senorita. And you speak in such good Spanish, too, Buckskin. Remember? Oh, mi great carrero, senor. Much gracias. Yeah, you, you cut the tall grasses. <laughs> uh, Ah, senor, the senorita. Ah, beautiful. Ah, look. She has a cheek like a peach. Ah, and the lip. Ah, she's like the apple. Ah, but the eye. Ah, the eye is like the raspberry. I mean, blueberry. Peaches, apples, and blueberries, you boneheaded booby. What are you trying to do, make me look like a fruit salad? <laughs> I guess you're looking up like El Caneo to fool most anybody if they don't get too close. Come on, we'd better be getting you over to the lockup. <laughs> si, si, senor. <laughs> well, come on, Bucks. Banish no shoes, senorita. <laughs> Marshal, we're going to have nothing but fireworks. All we have to do is let Carol light the fuse. Hello, Happy. Wolf said you're looking for me. Get up in the chair in case someone comes in. What's the matter? Ryder just brought El Caneo in again. He's locked up over in the jail. Carol let it slip just a little while ago. Do you want me to get the boys together? Not so fast. I understand that Ryder's talked the marshal into moving El Caneo over to the county seat. He figures it'll be tougher over there in case someone tries to bust him out of jail. When's all this happening? This afternoon. Carol tell you that too? I found out. Well, this afternoon won't give us much time. Time enough to get the boys out to Wolf Creek fast when they come through. It'll be pretty risky, Happy. They'll be guarding him. Just the marshal. They don't think anybody else knows about it. Well, I guess there's nothing else we can do about it. If they get El Canelo in that county jail, we won't be able to operate. They won't get him in the county jail. I'll be with you to make sure. All right, compadre, we have trouble. See, I follow Senor Ryder just like you told me. Well, he take another man dressed just like you Oh, but not as poorly as you. And he put him in the jail. That's like me. Put him in jail. See? But I wait around to see what would happen. What did happen? Well, a few minutes ago, he take this other El Conejo out of jail, put him on the horse, and rode it toward the county seat. It does not make sense. Uh, to me, it makes sense, eh? I think Senor Ryder is afraid of his reputation. Now, you are out of jail... He get this other El Conejo to save his face. We take care of this Ryder's face, all right. We capture this other El Conejo, throw him back in Ryder's face. <laughs> we take the amigos with us, no? We leave them here like always, in case something else might happen. Felipe, you and me, we capture him all by ourselves. <laughs> Adios, compadre.
There they are. See. What are you doing here? I am the one who will ask that question. And the answer is, better be good. If you must use imposter, you can at least use a man. Well, that's what I've been telling him all the time. Hey, wait a minute. I want explanation. If it doesn't satisfy me, you know what I do? Never mind, I tell you. I kill you dead, both of you. You drop those guns, El Canel. I'll be real happy to explain it to you. Red Rider, what do you do, double-crossed? No, Al Canale, we looked for you at the cabin, but you'd moved out. Why, because the place is no longer a secret hideout. We'll go into that later. Right now, we've got work to do. I'll bring Al Canale up to date, because in a few seconds, we're riding into wide open trouble. See? No, you'll see. down there. We can bottle them up like a goose in a barrel in that spot. Well, what are you waiting on? Get moving. Let's ride up ahead and see if Buckskin and the Marshal were all right. We just had an audience. I'm going back and find out who it was. Si, sí, senor. Well, let me know. isn't the only place a man can come to for a close shave. Climb in.
You don't need no shave. Well, uh, mostly here, Happy. I see. You gotta keep the old chin in shape and lead with it. You know, when I came in and found you going through those drawers, it sort of riled me. It's a good thing it was you. Instead of El Caneo? Yeah, El Caneo, I'd have shot through his crooked back. If that's the way you feel about El Caneo, you should have shot him the last time he was here. In here? He must have been here, Happy. I found quite a collection of these conches in your drawer. You better give them to me, Red. I, I found them and I'm keeping them for souvenirs. That's what I'm doing. Well, like the man in the store always say, customer's always right. Hey, take it easy, Happy. That's the only face I got. You better give me those conchos, Red. Maybe the marshal will give them back to you after he's through with them. Now, you're not meaning to say that I'm uh, mixed up with that El Caneo fellow, are you? Aren't you, Happy? Those conchos don't prove a thing. Three or four of the men in town found them around their places after they'd been raided. Sure, I know how it is. As a matter of fact, I just picked up something myself. Out where a bunch of thieving nogas were trying to drag out a couple of friends of mine. Aren't those your little gold scissors, Happy? Well, we better get on with the shave. You know, in all the years I've been barbering, only once have I cut a man real bad. Poor fella. He died. Now there's going to be another. It won't hurt, Red. This razor's almighty sharp. Just one push. You push and I'll pull the trigger. That's a gun sticking in your belly. Look here. Spin your gun like 
No, you don't eat it. Get out of there. That's my glove gone. That's terrible. Oh. 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 Red Rider, if Buckskin knew him well head before, him got him one now for sure. Come on. Cut your man.